Yo, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, I'm just going to show you how you can paint the engine bay and also the roll cage and sometimes the spoiler and the wing mirrors as well. Like every time you do this trick, it will definitely paint the engine bay and the roll cage, but depending on what kind of wing mirror modifications and spoiler mods you've got, sometimes it will paint them or it won't paint them and you can also upgrade that and change that as I'll show in the video. So how this trick works is first you want to just go into your um, design menu and then you go into your paint menu. And obviously we're starting off with a blank white car, everything's white, the only thing I've done to this is add a white visor and nothing else. And so you go into your design, you go into your paint, and then you basically choose the colour that you want the roll cage and the engine bay to appear. So I want my engine bay and roll cage to be like a neon kind of green yellow, so that's the colour I go for. And also the engine bay only ever stays, I think it's either matte or gloss, so whereas you can change um, the roll cage and the other sort of sometimes different parts of the car um, to like chrome or candy, all those sorts of different colours and this trick works for the cage and the mirrors and the spoiler sometimes it will change them chrome and different paint types but the engine bay will only ever be gloss or matte I think so just bear that in mind um, I'll show you a little bit more about that uh, later on but yeah so I've got the colour that I want the engine bay to be and the roll cage and you know sometimes some other parts and yeah in a second you'll see what I mean when I keep saying other parts might change colour as well but anyway, the way this trick works is you choose your main paint colour design, which you want to be the cage and the engine bay. And then, let's say I want the actual colour of the car to be white. What you want to do is just go into, you know, your shapes, choose a big shape like a square, put it on the roof, and then make it as big as you can make it, or, you know, just big enough so that it fills the whole car. And then you want to press the projection button to make sure that it's projected perfectly or, you know, properly onto that side of the car. And then once you've done that, just copy or duplicate that vinyl or make a new vinyl and do the same thing for each kind of side of the car. So I've gone to the left side of the car, pressed the projection button, copied it over. Now the back side of the car, make sure you project it because it won't sort of show up properly if you don't do that. And then again, the right side of the car, as you can see, and then just do the front as well because there might be some little gaps in the bumper that sort of don't match up or um, aren't covered with the color. And once you've done that, you've basically painted the whole outside part of the car and you're just left with the kind of custom um, parts, you know, the engine bay, the roll cage, and for this specific car and the mods that I've got on it, the spoiler and the wing mirror also stay that colour. And I can upgrade this in the mods um, in, you know, the body kits menu. I can change the wing mirror so that they stay white or they're black. Same with the spoiler and I'll show you in a minute. So you can mess around with this. It's not like... Oh, I don't want my wing mirrors to change, I don't like this. You can still mess about with it as you can see here. You can change the wing mirrors so they don't keep the colour, so they do all sorts of different stuff. And same with the spoiler as well, so you can get some really kind of like cool colour schemes and stuff. So yeah, depending on what type of car you've got, what custom, you know, modified parts you've got, this trick sort of works differently so sometimes it might paint the spoiler sometimes it might not same with the wing mirror sometimes like roof scoops and stuff like that it does the same kind of thing and here you go like with the spoiler so half of the spoiler is black the other half's the you know custom trim color uh that we did and you know different spoilers will look different so this keeps the color this one doesn't keep any color it's just solid black so you can mess around use this trick to get the engine bay and the roll cage definitely um change to what color you want and then you can mess around with the different body parts on the body kits and possibly get, you know, different custom uh, spoiler colours, wing mirror colours, roof scoop colours and other stuff like that. So it's kind of depends on what car you've got and what kit you've got, but definitely this always works for the engine bay and the roll cage no matter what the car is. It's pretty cool really, you can definitely get some very cool and unique sort of um, custom colour schemes and especially with the different cars, all the different kits and the different you know body part mods that you can do there's so many different you know combinations of different colors and custom trim and also the cool thing is once you've done this little trick basically all you have to do if you want to change the colors around is just go into your paint color and from there obviously you can just change the color that that's set to and then it will change you know the engine bay the spoiler the cage whatever the sort of custom parts that you've got for your car 
and same with the body. All you've got to do is go into your vinyls and change the colour of those squares that we covered the car with and then that changes the body colour. So you can, once you've done this, basically you can just mess around with the colours and you know do whatever kind of custom scheme that you want. So it's easy once it's done um, just to mess around with it. So hope that's helped you. Hope you make some cool designs with this. If you did find this pretty good, <laughs> drop a like and all that sort of stuff and drop any comments if you've got any questions. I will respond to it all. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Peace.